What's up guys? For today's video, um, I wanna go over how I use unusual whales intraday in looking for those potential big moves um, in starting with the filters that I use. So right here, first thing first, I'm on the live flow. And the first thing I do is when looking for flow, I'm really more looking for individual tickers. Um, so on unusual whales, if you put the minus sign and then I put IWMQs and SPY, just negates those, take those out, um, because there's a bunch of orders that are a little bit smaller that come through on that, and they're not really anything that are gonna change the way um, or the outlook that the overall indices are gonna um, play out. So I just take those away. Um, so first thing first, for the time, I just have today, um, August 8th, Monday, apply. Premium range, I start with 50,000, looking for some of those decent size it is earlier on in the day um 1043 eastern so those 50ks might be pushing it a little bit but there are some orders here spot range zero to three um, and a reason i have that is it takes away those orders that are closer to the money on the teslas um the apples you know those names where those bigger orders sometimes don't really actually move or have a weighing on that ticker's move. Like Microsoft would be another one, um, Nvidia, some of those names. Um, and then for down here, I have ask side on only both calls and puts um, for expiration, DTE range, zero to 14. I'm looking for those quicker trades. You know, if you're gonna swing, maybe you set that zero to 21, zero to 35, whatever it may be. But for most of the time, I'm looking for a day trade or an intraday swing. Um, all the others are just, these are just normal. One I do like to put on now recently has been this volume greater than OI, which would be the exclamation point. This just shows me it's, it's pretty urgent and there are also bigger orders coming through. If I can see that there's heavy volume, I like that, especially if there's a repeat chain or a repeat order. In this case, you know, these AFRMs really stand out here. We have three of them, but really these 80, uh, 37s stand out here. 4D days till expiration, 66K, 55K. Only two orders right now, but we'll, we'll break that down a little bit further. As I can see, you know, there is a 38 down here. Um, but in terms of the other filters I have on, exclude those deep in the monies, OTM only. I'm looking for those ones that are um, out of the money, um, just can act as a magnet, see where people are spending a decent bit of money. So, you know, sometimes those 50Ks aren't really being hit. So I'll, I'll um, set my premium range down to 10 or 20K. Later in the week, I know that notice that the 10 and 20Ks do tend to work a little bit better. More things show up, more um, interactions. But in this case, how I use this. Um, so AFRM definitely stands out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to search AFRM now. All right, so we look here, you know, these 38s are getting hit pretty decent, 60, 53K, and the 37. So this could be a, a, a spread here. Um, as you see, you know, the size is greater than open interest. So next thing next, you know, I need to pair this with some TA to give me a decent area in which I'm looking to take the trade. AFRM is not one that I'm, you know, particularly always looking at, um, but let's flip this here, AFRM. So looking here, I do have some levels, it looks like, but what I'm gonna do, turn this off. I'm gonna go over to the 65 um, and just look at levels where, you know, there's some big moves. So it does look like we did break out today. Makes sense. Let's look what time those came in. Um, 9.36 and 9.36 is when those came in. So 10 minutes ago. Okay, and at that point, let's see where AFRM was. So right about view up on the 15, if I turn that on, all right, cool. In this case, you know, I'm gonna have to use a daily to look at some levels on on the top side. It looks like AFRM does have some decent range. Um, we need to get over, you know, it looks like it has range up to about 40, um, as long as we can hold, you know, 33 in this case. But what, what I would do in this case would be, if I was going to enter here, I'd set my stop underneath um, our low here, 3586, 3585, um, and enter into those 37s, looking for a topside break where, you know, where my targets might be, 
Well, first, um, I'm about to break this down to five, even a little bit more. It looks like 3673, I guess 3675, but really targeting here about 3685 would be my first area I'd watch. 3685, watch that. But I want to use, you know, the candle type. If I'm looking for this as more of a longer term trade, I'm going to enter in maybe off the 15 or the 65. I'm looking for a scalp or a quicker trade. I'll enter here off the five minute time frame. In this case, you now I can use fibs as well. We do have a little bit of a uh, retracement, so I can use, if I got low to high here, looks like, you know, where I'd preferably like to enter is in this golden zone here. Um, right around that 20 EMA, I'd like a lot, if we break, break through that, don't see heavy buying power, I'd like that 35.4, looks like a, it's a big level as well. It's also in that golden zone, giving me a decent risk to reward. If I'm gonna enter in on that 35.4, I'll set my stop at 35.14, that 0.5 here. Or if I'm gonna enter on that 35.58, which is the top of the golden zone, I'll still set my stop at 35.14 waiting on a five minute close for that scalp or a 15 to 65 if I plan on trading this a little bit longer duration for the day. That's how I really use unusual whales intraday, but it's important to pair it with the technical analysis aspect. Like in this case, I see those 37s, right? But do I wanna buy those right now? No, not really. We have a bunch of selling pressure here coming in. And one thing I've noticed today is VIX is up 1.16% while the, the indices are also running. Looks like we have a big sell candle here on SPY. So to me, that, that kind of warns a red flag. Premiums are not going to move as much because the volatility is higher. So, you know, it's a bit weird there. Um, and I wouldn't take an entry in that case. I'd like to see some sort of cool down on VIX. Or if, you know, my thesis is invalidated and we start to get some heavy sell-off, which it looks like we are starting to here, then th that's not one that I'm really looking for. So I'll flip back to my flow and we'll see, whoa, see if anything crazy is coming in. I'm gonna take away those um, indices again. So it looks like charge points one that always comes through. You know, AMC has been high. AMC is running a lot today, um, but other than that, some of these earlier names, one trend that we've noticed today is EV names are hot, solar names are hot, as well as memes. Um, Hood, Nicola fits both the EV and the meme name spectrum. FSLR would be that solar. Um, ENPH actually is having some puts come through here. So that's what I'd watch and just kind of use that to help build a thesis upon where I should enter. Um, you Unusual Whales does have a 15% off sale until August 12th, which is a pretty good sale for Unusual Whales. Um, and, and I really do like it. My favorite aspect is definitely um, in preparation for trades, but I, I have find, found a lot of usability um, using this intraday, looking for things like this. What really, really stands out the most is when a repeat chain is hit multiple times um, in this case charge points getting hit but even like these apples here we see them this morning 353k 152k 194k all on these 812 165 puts that stands out a lot to me